And so now we're done with our television. Oh. Yeah. Let's do a sample the sample. Yeah, so now we want to go to the samples. Um, uh, okay. yeah, I can. Yeah. On this side. Okay. So, I'm going to this. Um, so, this is sample 8. This is our hexane. This looks fine. This is a hexane blank, which did look like. It didn't have that peak from earlier, so that's good to see. Yeah. Um, after this, this is our uh, sample. sample. And so you can see two peaks. That's what we're looking for. So how we how we uh, analyze the sample is kind of the same as the calibration, except we don't calibrate it. So we go to quantitate, calculate, and then go back to QEdit. So we can see our internal standards there. That's good, but. Because this is our sand length, we don't want to see any peaks for the rest of the samples, for the rest of the chemicals. Yeah. We might see something teeny tiny, but like our response is 241, whereas it was in like the hundreds of thousands earlier. Yeah. So it's still going to quantitate a zero. Mm. So it'll, it's there, but like, eh. Yeah, pretty small. It's pretty small. So this one, same with PPDE. So we do see our, uh, Surrogate. That's good. We wanted to see that. You can see our response to that is big. Fieldrin. So you can see here, um, it couldn't find a peak right here for Fieldrin, so it integrated this. But this is not Fieldrin. <laughs> so we actually want, so what I usually do is I just like draw an arbitrary line under it, and then if I click on it again, <laughs> it'll give me a better zoom. Yeah. So. And you can see it. The machine automatically makes the integration as this layered shape. Yeah. So this is for the like for the signal that has many peaks. Then the computer will do the integration as very in a very layered way. Yeah. So we need to check it manually. And so this is again there's two different really big deal here. So we're gonna so I'm not surprised that this is tiny. Yeah. But we'll still want to make sure that it's somewhat accurate. And so. I'm just going to draw a line under this tiny little spike yeah. and call that Dildrin. Again, so our black ion is the one it actually uses to quantitate things. It's our primary ion. And so um, we want to make sure the line is under the block mm -hmm. when they separate like this. Next, our PPDVD. So you can kind of see the same. The brothers are kind of there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but again, they're really, really small. So I'd call that good enough. With all samples, same thing, we just exit, save our changes. Um, and if we want to see our results, we would go to quantitate, generate report. Um, and this will basically just print out the results down here. <laughs> that's all it does. So that's why our destination is a screen. So it means it's just going to come up on the screen. Mm. Um, and it's just going to give us a summary of what we just found. So it's going to use our calibration that we just did and give us results. So. You can see that for all of the species, except for our surrogate, it's below calibration. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. That's what we want to see. Because if this is sand plant, so we expect that we do not have the concentration of this chemical. Mm -hmm. So it's good. So it's good. <laughs> yeah. That means the base was not contaminated or anything, so that's great. <laughs> And so now we can just go to the next one. And again, if you don't like scrolling through this thing, you can go to file, uh, next data file. I prefer to scroll through this, I don't know why. Oh, uh, I prefer to do loud file and <laughs> But it depends yeah. on your personal preference. Up to you, you know. Yeah. And so we'll go to the next one, and this is our first sample. So, this is the worm sample. <laughs> yeah. And it's got lipids. That's why it looks like this. <laughs> yeah, you can see there are many peaks. No. So the first window and the second window just shows the what's of the things. So again, this is a scan up here. So a scan is there's like two things that the MS does, like kind of simultaneously. And the scan, what it does is it will look for all ions. Per 
present at any time. So you can like kind of like left click here and you can see there's so many ions. Oh. <laughs> like a ton. <laughs> Too <laughs> many. Yeah. But the thing is when it's looking for all these ions, right, it can't look at any of them like with a lot of depth. Your abundances are gonna be smaller, your peaks are gonna be quite as clean. Mm -hmm. And so simultaneously it also does what's called a SIN. That stands for select ion monitoring. So as part of our method and our MS parameters, we told it what ions to look for at specific times. And so that's what it's printing out in the sim. Um, if you ever want to see like what the sim is doing, you can just kind of click on that. These are the different blocks. It's like, look, like you can see um, at certain time points, it starts looking for different ions. So it's kind of, and the sim is what we actually use to quantify your data. I had some problems with this, <laughs> so I had to look into this. You I probably see. won't. It'll probably be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just the difference. Okay. And so now we want to quantitate this one of your analysis on our sample. So same thing again, quantitate, calculate, and then QA. But now, the fun thing <laughs> is our samples are going to get a lot messier. Our peaks are going to be a lot less clean, so we're really going to yeah. have to pay attention. Yes. So, PNCB, this looks good. It's far enough away from everything where it's yeah. clear, easy, not of time. Oh, PDDD. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of the two really kind of problematic ones, I think, yeah. with the worm samples. You can see this is teeny tiny, and it's next to something that's massive. <laughs> yeah. Um, the baseline looks kind of flat right now, where it's not a huge issue, but you just want to make sure that it's like actually integrating so I would probably put that like uh, there. Yeah. Because the baseline is supposed to be here and then here or yeah. something. Yeah. It's like kind of is moving up maybe a little. Yeah. It's hard to tell. And so this is where it gets a little handmade. <laughs> you just kind of have to guess. Um, but then you can see like PPDDE, clean, perfect, easy. Yeah. But this is also going to be one of your species that's a higher concentration, so <laughs> that's why it'll be a lot easier. Our surrogate also looks great. Deal Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so this is where River and I had problems. <laughs> we did this differently. Yeah. Um, Deal Drain is very small. It's the smallest of all of our peaks, just in any sample set, even in the standards. Um, and so in our <laughs> worm samples, it's also the smallest. Yeah. So you can see the computer did this integration really dumb. Yeah. Like, this is not the other end. I guess so, because it's considered the baseline drops to here. Yeah. Oh. But it kind of looks flat on the other ones. Yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know. It's it's stupid sometimes. Yeah. And so you just want to double check it, or you want to fix it. You just kind of go on like that. Yeah, so they usually connect the left button and the right button. Yeah. And you can see that our response here just changed dramatically. Yes. When we did that. So, so this is very sensitive to selection of the baseline. Yeah. When like I did this, <laughs> it'll get all messed up. Yeah. So for the very small concentration, it is very sensitive. So I think when you are doing this, you want to make sure this is consistent yeah. in all the plots. And if you can't really see it clearly enough, kind of have to count it as a song there. Like, yeah. um, it's also going to be in a very low concentration. Like we would expect children to be in a low concentration. Mm -hmm. And so we see this super high. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. And then next we have PPDDD. So the brothers, they look good. Yes. They actually look okay. And they integrated pretty well. Yes. So I would say that that's good. <laughs> Again, this peak isn't here, so you can see it's going to get creative. <laughs> yeah, they'll find some peaks around. Yeah, Ooh. which is fine. Again, like we're going to print out these results, so we'll see them. Yeah. <laughs> but we know they're garbage, so we right. can look at them. And then we have PPDDT. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. And again, if you're ever not sure, you can just zoom in by scrolling in. So, but it looks good to me. Yes. And so we just exit, save. And then we want, to, we want to see our results on the screen, so we hit generate report, summary, 
And you can see this changes to saying QT reviewed. Mm. So that just means that you went through the QEdit and you made sure it looked good. Um, and you can again see our results down here. You don't need to look at these every time. <laughs> yeah. Um, it gets a little time consuming. But that's how we do our samples. Yeah, I think they also like tailor it. Uh, like this. I oh, think. Oh, okay, maybe that's, like they have a sticker, and the sticker is a reference of the internal, uh, of the surrogate. Mm, oh, what it should be. Like, yeah, like like the range, because they have the 80% to yeah. 100%, so it shows that range, but that, I mean, that is just a quick check for mm -hmm. that, but yeah, they yeah. cannot find that's fine. They probably don't know Yeah, that's fine, yeah. That's how you do these. So. Yeah. So you know, you get samples, and then you just do that over and over again, all the way to the end, <laughs> yeah. like 30 more times. Um, yeah. Anyone's fine?